New developments in the murder of a beloved crossing guard at a number th on a number three train in Brooklyn. Police have now released surveillance pictures of the man they believe shot Richard Henderson right after the father of three tried to break up a fight. This morning, the suspect is still on the run. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Phil Tate. The NYPD is hard at work right now trying to put those responsible behind two other stabbings, including Sunday's shooting behind bars. Well, it was on Sunday, as cops tell us, 45-year-old Richard Henderson was shot aboard a Manhattan-bound three train over at the Rockaway Avenue station. Six stops later was where police found him here at the Franklin Avenue station. Right now, I want you all to take a look at your screen as we are getting a first look at the person believe, police believe to be responsible in this deadly shooting incident. Well, they say the alleged gunman is a man with dread locks, last seen wearing a black jacket, a black hood, dark colored sneakers, and a dark colored pants. Well, police say Sunday's tragedy spiraled out of an argument over loud music between two other people. Well, that's when shots rang out, hitting Henderson twice in the torso. Detectives believe the gunman got away before the train pulled into the Franklin Avenue stop. Now, in a separate incident at the Columbus Circle subway station, police are also looking for this person wanted in connection to a stabbing on board a D train that left a 42-year-old man and stabbed in the right shoulder. Well, the victim is expected to be okay. Well, as now, police narrow in on these incidents for Richard Henderson's family. Many questions still loom. We still have a lot of questions on why he was laid on a train so long and the train skipped stops. You know, because if he got, you know, shot at Rockaway, it's about seven, eight stops till you get to Franklin. We just want to know is, when did the conductor find out uh, something happened on this train? Absolutely. And if you did, why you didn't stop the train at the moment that you found out? Yeah, you can just feel that family's emotion, and we're told that D train stabbing that happened just yesterday was one of three that happened here in our city. We're told that over on the two train in the Bronx that a 19-year-old was stabbed there. Well, the good news is he is expected to be okay. That's the very latest here in Crown Heights this morning. I'm Phil Tate, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.